It's the magic of math here. Today, we're going to be finding unit rate using a graph. So here's our math question today. We have this graph that shows the relationship between x, the number of footballs a team orders, and y, the total cost in dollars of the footballs. You're asked to select from the drop-down menus to correctly complete each sentence. Based on the graph, the cost of four footballs is choose. The unit rate per football is, and you choose. So I'm going to ask you to pause the video here. I'd like you to answer both parts of this question and then come back and hit play to see the solution. Welcome back. So we're given a graph that shows X the number of footballs. So the values are on the horizontal X axis is the number of footballs. One, two, three. So the cost per football. A team orders. And Y is the total amount of dollars they spend on the footballs. So here are dollars. So it says how much they buy if they do one, two, three, or all the way up to nine. We're going to select from the drop down menus. And the first one we're going to do is based on this graph, the cost of four footballs. So we're going to go over to our X axis because that's the number of footballs. And we're going to look at four footballs because that's what we're finding the cost of. So we're going to go up to the data point and then over to the Y axis to find out that if we buy four footballs, it's going to cost us $32. So the cost of four footballs is $32. Now we want to find the unit rate per football. So the unit rate is how much it costs for one football. So we're going to go over to one football on our X axis, go up to our data point, and then over to our cost, and we find out that the cost of one football is $8. We come over and we're going to choose $8. So the cost to buy four footballs is $32, and the unit rate per football is $8. And does our answer make sense? Yes, because if one football costs $8, then four times eight is 32. And there you have it. That is how we find unit rate using a graph. And I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll come back soon and have a great day.